Welcome back to the Power Base tutorial series. I am Josue Guillen with the Progressive Technology Project and today we're going to look at how you create a web form inside Power Base and Civi CRM that you can embed in your website so that when people fill out the form on your website it automatically gets captured by your database. For that we need a profile. So we are going to add a new profile. We will give it a good name and we will be using the advanced settings. There are a couple of very useful items here. The first, add new contacts to a group. You should create a group specifically to capture the names of all the people that use this form. That way, when you are asked how many people have signed up via the website, you can easily see who those people are and specifically target them if you like. Another interesting useful option is notify when profile form is submitted. And this is where you would put in uh, an email address and every time someone would click submit on that form you will get an email telling you that a form was submitted. And you also want to use the redirect URL and the cancel redirect URL. And when someone clicks submit and you probably want to send them um, to your website, the main page, so they go back to the website. The default value is actually to send you to the database and there they will get a uh, cannot access uh, error page. And the same thing with cancel redirect. If they click cancel, you want the same thing. You want them to go back to the website. Uh, we cannot use reCAPTCHA on these embedded forms and uh, we want, if we have a duplicate, we have two options here. You really do not want to issue warning and not save. What you want to do is either update the matching contact or allow a duplicate contact to be created. Now, uh, pluses and minuses to either one. If you allow duplicate contacts to be created, then you can, uh, on a regular basis, dedupe this particular group uh, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, that is the safest way to do this. Update matching contact. If you are collecting particular pieces of information, it, some things could be overwritten. Uh, I uh, like to be safe and so I will allow duplicate contacts to be created and I am going to click save. Now I need to choose the fields and let's create a form for people's email address. They want to be kept informed of what the website, what the organization is doing and so we will just collect an email address and the field label, I just wanted to say email and we click Save and New. Uh, the other one that I like is asking for the zip code. Uh, so let's do that. Postal code, uh, zip code, and Save. Oh, I also wanted for this form the email to be required. So let me go back and edit this entry so that I check required. And now the fields are properly set up. Let's return to the list of the profiles and we have website form signups and then under more one of the options we have here is HTML form snippet. Click on that and what we get is all of the HTML and JavaScript necessary to be able to place this form in my website and have it all work. 
And so I would select the HTML code, I would copy it, and then I would paste it into my website. And when people click submit, it automatically gets entered into the database.